Ads here from Herman Hits the Road, and in this video, I find another leak in Herman and have to fix this roof light. Over the last few days, it's been raining, and uh, I've been working on a few things in Herman, and I noticed while I was doing this door. Uh, we had a little puddle on the floor and I thought, well, where's that come from? I looked up and there was a drip just along here. So I'm going to need to take this off, take this roof light out and probably just seal up the edge or something like that. But we're going to take a look and see if there's any other damage as well. So what you have here is a Fiamia roof light. It opens and closes like this. They're very common. Uh, we have a blind this side, and we have a fly net or fly screen this side. Down here are two plastic uh, flaps which we have to pull out. I've already broken this one, so we're gonna have to be careful with this side. And there's a screw there and a screw here opposite side. Uh, underneath these flaps, are three screws and then once all eight screws are undone it should come away and the roof light should lift away and we'll be able to see what's going on yeah so on the top here you can see that there is a bit of a gap between the, the roof light and the roof this is probably our problem it seems like there's no seal underneath it anymore these plastic side panels are difficult to remove without breaking the inner tabs off. The end ones are fairly simple though. And this is the hard part. As you can see I broke the tabs off this side. So how do they come out? There's no hook on the tab, so the trick is to pull the panel down without bending it. And it's not possible to get a screwdriver in there either. Yeah, so both of these tabs are now broken, uh, just like the other side. Um, I, didn't, I couldn't find a way of uh, un unhooking this, disconnecting it. But uh, anyway, that exposes the uh, six screws there, one there, one there, these, and then the other side, of course. So I need to take them out. Now you can see the tabs here, look. Uh, still have no idea <laughs> which way they... Uh, well, they're not even gripping. How does that work? Just bad luck, I think. All right, so I think this is now. Yeah, look. That should be glued down. I'm sure there should be a sealer on that. Right, let's lift this off gently and see what we... Look at that, just comes away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it was sealed. But not anymore. Dirt's got in here. I need to scrape this off. Doesn't seem to be any damage. Which is a good thing. I just need... Oh, look, it just peels off it. I think this is going to be an easy job to clean. Oh, it's just coming off. So I've got myself a Stanley blade, put a bit of tape around it so I can hold it. And then now I'm going to use this to do some my scraping. Right, so there we are. I've cleaned up all the way around the outside, roughed it up. Bit of white spirit on there. Now I need to do the vent itself, clean that it up. 
comes off quite easily look. And it's quite brittle and also look how much I mean there's lots of dirt along here all the way around look so it wasn't connected to the roof at all with the uh, mastic so yeah I'm going to need to take all this off clean it up and rebond it. Right, that's all cleaned up now, all along here. I've cleaned it with the white spirit, roughed it up with a bit of sandpaper, and it is now ready for my Sikaflex. The roof vent comes in two pieces. This is the outer part, and then there's an inner part here, and they're screwed together by these bolts here, these screws. See that one there, and that one there, and there's obviously two the other side. Uh, but I've read that it's not recommended to unscrew them. In fact, you can see that they're um, those funny hexagon type um, screws. Stop you tampering with them. Um, I was going to take them apart to clean them because they're getting a bit dirty especially the inside one or you know where you can't get to them uh, but I noticed that it's uh, starting to go a bit crazy on that you can't really see that but if you look closely the uh, outer shell looks like it's it's going a bit um, old for want of a better word so if I undid them I'm, I'll be worrying that I'll break them so uh, I'm not going to do that and what you don't want is these things flying off while you're driving down a road. One thing I should point out is that these aren't the actual original roof vents that came with the with Herman. Um, when we bought Herman, we noticed that the originals were yellow. Uh, they were opaque. You couldn't see through them. So uh, we got these on offer and uh, had these fitted. Now the person who fitted them might not have fitted it properly. Probably didn't clean the surface of the. Uh, of the, uh, of the roof before uh, putting the mastic on. I don't know, who knows? But, uh, and of course our bathroom one, which we had done as, uh, as, as well, might be in the same, might have the same problem, but I haven't seen any leaks from there. So for the moment, we are not going to be doing the bathroom one. So now the roof light is out, you can see the water damage that's caused here. I don't think it's bad, but you can definitely see that this part here is good and clean then uh, they got a bit of uh, bit browning of the wood just there and then just above it it's just a different color it's still good though it is still good it is not lam delaminated or anything The last thing we need to do is refit this cover again, which screws into the uh, roof light there. And I have my um, lovely assistant to help me. <laughs> so if you could hold that in place while I screw it. You can let go now. Thank you very much. Right, ta-ra. Ta-ra. Thank you. See you in the next episode. All right, so you can see there's some seepage along the edge. Uh, that's, uh, we knew that was going to happen, but I want to make sure it's nice and smooth and there's no gaps. Huh. 
So uh, I decided to just take a look at the bathroom one. So I've taken the, uh, the surround off and uh, it's exactly the same. Look at that, it just pops off. The sealant is no longer sealant. So it looks like I'm gonna need to do the same to this roof vent as well. Um, I'm not going to get you to watch it because you've seen me do that already. So it's the same procedure. Um, so I'm going to end the video here. Um, if you enjoyed watching that, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, if it helped you as well, decide on what you're going to do, help you fit your roof lights, uh, then uh, also give it a thumbs up. You may also be interested in watching this video here where we cut a huge hole in the floor of Herman uh, to remove some water damage uh, rot. You may want to consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you do, don't forget to click that bell uh, for notifications. Until next time, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.